This is Alan Bush with ADMIS. In the stock index futures, we are seeing prices higher this morning. This after the European Central Bank announced details of their massive new quantitative easing program. They are planning to buy bonds starting on March 9th, and the plan will continue until September of next year. So this returns the focus to a new round of QE and the globally low interest rate environment. And that, of course, has been very supportive to stock index futures uh, over the last five years or more. So we continue to believe that higher prices are in store for all of the indices across the board. And I think we can see some follow through gains today as well. Over in the currencies, seeing the dollar index trading at new highs for the move and the euro currency now at new 11 year lows. This after the European Central Bank uh, announcing the details of their QE program. Interest rate differentials remain favorable to the US dollar over other currencies, especially the euro currency. Also, we are seeing the pound trading a little bit lower in sympathy with weakness in the euro currency. Even though we did have the Bank of England at their policy meeting, keeping rates unchanged as expected at a record low 50 basis points. Some temporary gains in the Australian dollar after the Reserve Bank of Australia indicating that the Australian dollar is getting close to a level that would be supportive to the Australian economy. However, pressure developing when China indicated that they are targeting 7% growth for their economy. Last year, the uh, target was 7.5%. So looks like the dollar will remain firm. The euro currency likely to be under some pressure, but I would rather focus on stock index futures to the long side and interest rate markets also to the long side, and a little less on currencies now that a lot of this uh, news is out of the way, at least the anticipated news from the European Central Bank concerning their QE. So over in the interest rate markets, we did see some new lows for the move in the June 30-year bonds after the uh, U.S. 730 reports were released, but a quick recovery to higher on the day. And I now feel that bonds are in the process of turning the corner. It does look like the last of the longs were forced out with new lows for the move in the June bonds yesterday with a little follow through to the downside today. So technically, uh, this market very oversold and now with the QE uh, in place, and, or I should say formally in place from the uh, European Central Bank, traders are again centering on global low interest rates, quantitative easing that is uh, in the works. And also keep in mind that at least 22 central banks since the beginning of this year have eased credit in one form or another, all of which is supportive to treasuries, and we feel especially at the long end of the curve. Once again, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.